All right, I know I just did a Wii game. I didn't. Only, I just did Sonic Colors on the Wii, so I should probably need to do probably need to do a PC game now. But I haven't quite worked out what that is yet. I mean, I have an idea what I want to do for another uh, PC game, but I have to make sure that it works and all. And I haven't really had the time, <laughs> lazy, or the patience to uh, try to uh, get that to work. So until I get around to actually testing out what I want to do on the PC, we can go ahead and do the conduit. Look at this intro right here. The conduit! High voltage software production. I can't do that voice anymore. I can't do that like low, like the conduit. Yeah, something, something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and start. Now, the Conduit, they made a really big deal about this game when it came out. Because trust me, I remember this. I think it came, I'm pretty sure it came out in 2009. And uh, they made a pretty big deal about this because the Wii has had first-person shooters on it. But it really hasn't had much uh, Wii-specific only first-person shooters. It doesn't like the... The first person shooters that it had were stuff like Red Steel, and obviously a lot of people didn't like Red Steel. I mean, I, I love that game. Yeah, see, 1997 to 2009, so I'm pretty sure that this game came out in 2009. But, like, the Wii had, had the type of first person shooters as, uh, ooh, spoilers! As, uh, kind of like stuff like Red Steel, so that's the, so that, that really hasn't... Gone over, gone over well. I mean, in the Wii, it's almost like it's really good for first-person shooters because you have the Wii remote, and it makes aiming pretty good. Or it can make aiming pretty bad, as you'll you'll probably see in this game, because I still have my Wii Motion Plus attached to uh, my Wii. So, uh... oh yeah, yeah, listen to that music. <laughs> That's some pretty funky uh, music to start up the game with. Now, uh, obviously, I've played this game a lot. I played this game quite a bit because it's, it's really it's really fun to play. Now, it doesn't have the fanciest graphics, or it doesn't have like the most bestest gameplay ever. But I think it's a nice game that everybody's at least look at. Now. Everything is pretty good about this game, except the controls, which I was just talking about. The controls were iffy and bearable at best when I didn't have the Wii Motion Plus on here. But now that I do have the Wii Motion Plus on my Wii remote, um, I've tried I tried playing this with it, and it's kind of hard to play. It really is. But I really, Mr. Ford, no. I do not want to be Mr. Ford. I want to be Mr. Kirby. Where's the period at? Oh. Are you going to tell me that they're going to have the name Mr. Ford? And uh, they're not going to have the period? Everybody, backspace. There we go. Let's keep the Mr. in there. Mr. Kirby. We have a mission for you. Pio? Yes. Yes, you, Kirby. Pio! Ugh, this is gonna be a hell of a day. Ugh, why don't I ever know my alphabets? Oh, yeah. B and Y. There we go. Mr. Kirby. Mr. Kirby, wake up. Alright, so, submit your profile name. There we go. Alright. First of all, we're going to look at options here. Game options, missing difficulty. There are, I think, I think there's five levels of difficulty. Let's go to okay, low. Obviously, I like the, the I like the descriptions for these. Your pathetic enemies will fall before your incredible might. Guarded, quick thinking, and fast reflexes are sure to bring you victory. I think that's kind of like normal mode. Elevated, your enemies are strong and powerful. Victory is not assured. High. The opposition is nearly unbeatable. Cower at their might. Oh yes, yes, and severe. 
Your enemies laugh at your feeble efforts. Prepare to die! <laughs> Ow, my throat. Yeah, and then that's it. So it has five difficulties level. I'm gonna go with normal, so low, guardian, elevated. I might need to turn down the, uh, the difficulty at one point early on in the game. Because, uh, things can get really, really deucey really quick. So I may need to turn down the, uh, difficulty at, at just one point in the game. Anyway, subtitles on. Hello? Everyone loves a subtitle? Yeah. Player running speed. Oh, we're gonna make this 100%. Uh, that's kind of weird. They, they give you the option to show you how fast you should run. Like, that should be standard. But no, if you want to run faster, then you can go ahead and run faster. Reload blur? Uh, no. Turn that off. Reload blur is stupid. Your eyes don't blur in real life when you reload a gun. Do you reload a gun in real life and be like, Oh man, my vision, I can't see anything. No. No, no, you don't. That, that's stupid. Controller sensitivity. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to keep that right there. Hopefully that's going to work out for me. We remote dead zone. Wow. That's a uh, pretty... Pretty small. We'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Rumble on. Sure, why not? Auto center cursor. Automatically centers the cursor when the remote is aimed away from the screen. I don't know if I like that or not. We'll keep that off for now and see if we need to change that later. Turn white turn while cursor off screen. Toggle whether or not the camera turns but well, I thought it said white cursor. Toggle this whether or not the camera turns while the cursor is off screen. Uh, I guess that means like if you're like all the way off screen the camera's just gonna keep turning. I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna keep that off. Sound options Sound effects vault wow. Um, all oh right, this is out of 10. Oh no, it's not, it's out of like 11. Crank it up to 11. Uh, voice volumes. Yeah, turn the, turn the voice volumes up and turn the sound effects around. And what's this? Full move some videos? Yeah, turn that up too. Nah, let's keep that at 10. All right, that's good. And any video options, brightness, and eh, Turn our brightness up by a bit. And sensor bar calibration. What is this? Point your rear remote at the target displayed on the screen and press A button. What target? I don't see any target. What are you talking about? Oh crap. Oh, I see what it wanted me to do. Calibrate again. And wanted me to, to, uh, oh, I see. All right, well, let, let's do this it's just to see, just to make sure we get everything out of the way, just so I'm not complaining about the controls without doing everything I can possibly do to make them better. All right, aim at that. Aim at that. Hey! Aim at that. And aim at that. I guess that's fine. Ugh. All right, I think that's everything. Yes, keep the changes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Extras, no, we don't need that. Eh, we can just go ahead and start with new game. It all begins with a simple question. One that was never meant to be answered. Most people will merely ask the question without expecting any kind of response. Maybe that's for the best. For the others, the ones who demand an answer, it's the start of true understanding. They begin to see the lies and conspiracies for what they are. Threads and evidence that lead to the truth. They see the connections behind seemingly unconnected events and begin to learn about the powers that actually shape our world. Random events conspire to form the greater picture. It's only a matter of finding how the pieces fit and you will see the puzzle for what it really is. After that, you can't help what you will become. Some succumb to madness or paranoia. Some disappear from the world. And others... Well... Others end up like me. My name is Michael Ford. I'm probably the only one left who knows the truth. I know because I was there. I know because I was there. <laughs> Michael Ford, that's an American name. Like, they probably told her people, 
Pick the most American name you could ever think of. John Smith? No, no. Too, too American. Are you gonna go without me pressing the A button? God dang it. Alright. There we go. No, Michael Ford. That sounds pretty American. Four trucks. Are you alright? Yeah. The blast has disrupted the circuitry in your suit. We'll need to recalibrate before moving on. First, we need to verify that the targeting system still functions. Look at the fuse box on the wall. Look at the fuse box. Alright, this isn't too bad right now. Uh, Good. fuse box. Now do the same thing to the sign on your left. The sign on my left. Targeting it's right there. Line. Now, I'll reroute the ASE biosensors to your suit. There, you're ready to go. I'm detecting several drugs nearby. You need to secure the immediate area. Oh, oh, there we go. Here, here's this is the first part of the game. Kind of confusing. First time you're playing this because it's like, what? What's happening? There's one coming in from the vent. Oh no! It's a monster. Aliens. Yeah, we gotta fight aliens. Ow! Sure I, I got hit by the first enemy in the game. Awesome. Uh, reload. I think yeah, for that. Awesome. We get to start off with sock and rain. So that's pretty cool. And that door is kind of open up automatically. Cool. Looks like you got the drop on this one. Use a melee attack to take it out. Oh. I guess melee is just punching your rear remote towards the screen. That's kind of annoying, actually. I would much prefer it to be a button, but whatever. Motion controls. They're using the room ahead as a hatchery. Take out the egg sacs. Ah, oh, dang it! I hate, I hate the egg sac stuff. Remember. You'll have a better shot. You need to clear out this entire nest or they'll just rebuild it. Don't let any of them escape. Yeah, I get it, okay? I was about to explain that. To These little Let's egg going. sacks on walls can get pretty annoying later on because it's, it gives them reason for, like, infinite respawn. Why do I have that? I thought my health respawns automatically with this. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, uh, I can't use that. All right, so... All right, this isn't so bad so far. I think I was messing with the controls too much when I went back it's and played it. Lock, yeah. Like the one at the bunker. There should be matching trigger points on the walls in this room. Use the ASC to find and charge them up. ASC? What's that? Oh, well, it's you just a thing. The walls with the ASE. Look for nodes similar to the ones on the door. So this is uh, one of the puzzles in the game where uh, if you find those little door locks, then... You had to find. You had to use a little ASE. I'll explain it, what that is later, Keep or the game will. Yeah, I know what to do. I'm explaining. Look for nodes similar to the ones. On and the you door. find a little nodes on the wall. Yes, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, game. I have no idea what I'm doing without you. Oh, there was only two in the room. Wow. Biosensors are picking up more signals ahead. Be careful. Now the thing with this. ASC is that you can find messages on a wall. I don't know if you can find messages on the wall in this area of the game. Like it's kind of like a tutorial level, but uh, I don't think you can find messages messages on a wall in this area. Yeah. Go back to your guns. I have that gun, and I only have this gun. No, no, I don't. I have another gun. I want to let me switch. I see that other gun right underneath it. Don't tell me I don't have it. Alright, whatever. Hoop! The A button is to jump, which is kind of weird, but you know, whatever. Down the tunnel. Switch to your scar. Oh, now I can switch. Now use the weapon scope to check out the area ahead. Yeah, so some weapons have scopes that you can scope in and fire at people from a distance, so that's pretty nice. I like the scar, actually. It has a three burst to it, and uh... It's pretty good because it lets you uh, line up your shots. Oh, who's there? More enemies? Yeah, more enemies the coming from behind. The are stronger than what we've seen before. The signals are head are stronger than we've seen before. But I don't get that. I just started playing the game. Actually, I really I know everything that's going on. Oh, I hate these things. They're reinforcing this position through those conduits. You'll need to take them out before we move on. Yeah, then we have these little conduits that pop up sometimes, which act the exact same way as those... Oh, wow, headshot. Nice. Oh, hi there. Oh, that should have been a headshot. Get away from me, you alien freak. 
Yeah, we have these uh, conduits that pop up. Let's axe, let's axe, just like a uh, axe, just like the egg sacks. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? I'm firing at you with the three burst. How cool is that? God, Hold on. fire at it. There are strange readings coming from ahead. I don't like the looks of this. I don't like the looks of this. to see the path to your objective. Oh, I want that uh, alien gun. But I also want a shotgun. Eh, I'll take a. Oh crap! I forgot. That's how you throw grenades. Uh, sir. So here are the alien guns. Ooh, cool alien guns, right? That's pretty cool. It's a gun where you can kind of do like do rapid fire, or you could hold it in and do a really powerful laser shot. Yeah, that's cool. And obviously he automatically knows how to reload an alien weapon that he's never seen before probably, but whatever. We're not going to quest him too much. Alright, and you can also aim in your sights with this. Your suit will stop right. some incoming damage, but you'll still need to crouch and use cover. Ah! Get away from me! I thought I saw you guys. Open the door, please. I'm not done with this area. Are there any aliens down here? Oh yeah, there's one. And I completely missed. Great. Did I kill him? I don't think I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Nice. <laughs> kill with your own weapon. Cool. What's in here? Can I open this up? I can. Human ammunition. Yeah, so you can find, uh, like, crates of ammo throughout the game. And they'll have, like, three sets of ammo have, uh, ammunition. Depending on what type of box that it is. So, like, you can find human ammunition, you can find alien ammunition, and a third type of ammunition. But we'll see soon enough. Don't want to spoil anything yet. Oh, crap. I hate this part. Ah, we gotta wait for these guys to come on down. There we go. Come on down! I missed the laser yet again. I haven't hit anybody with that laser yet. Let's hit this guy. Ha ha! There we go! Hit him! Now is my health gonna regen? Hey, well it's not gonna regen if this guy comes at me. Come on, there we go. Yeah, it does regen eventually. But, uh, it's gonna be pretty slow doing it. There we go. Well, it's not too bad. I keep wanting to press C for jumping because that's what the jumping button was for Red Steel. Oh look, this it's giant... This is what we've been looking for. Yeah, giant conduit. Save your ammo. You won't be able to damage a conduit that size. How do you know? Have you tried? I don't think you have tried. I think what we gotta do just now is to like defeat the enemies that come in. Haha, -ha, I think it was a headshot. No, it wasn't. Haha, -ha, there we go. Aiming with the scopes in is pretty easy. I do like that. Oh, health. Nice. Reload. Take care of that guy. Come on. These aliens look pretty cool, I gotta admit. Headshot! I'm doing head- Yeah, there we go. Headshot. Nice. That's why I like to see. Get out of here, aliens. I'm trying to destroy a conduit here. So they're just, they're just gonna keep coming from the conduit for a little bit of time. And we just kinda got- We just kinda gotta hold them off. Oh, crap. Reload. Good thing he re reloads automatically. No. That should be the last of them for now. Give yeah. me a second to calibrate your suit so you can pass through the portal. Give me a second to calibrate your suit. Calibration is complete, Michael. Step through whenever you're ready. Yeah, C is ducking, and uh, oh look, here's some more ammo for us. Even though we don't need it, because this is actually the end of the... This is basically just a tutorial level. So it wasn't too hard at all. Throw grenades at it! So obviously we have a few different types of grenades. Which is basically the frag grenade, which is pretty useful. And then we have this, like, alien type of grenade, which, if you throw it, it kind of creates a little, like, mini black hole that's not really black, but instead it's red set up. And, uh, it kind of disappears. It's, they're kind of, like, sticky. They're basically sticky grenades. So if you can stick it that to an enemy, it can hurt the en It kills the enemy and hurts other enemies around it. Anyway, we're done with this level, so jump in! Aw. Hold on tight.
Missing complete! You have earned one in Seamints. Look for under the unlockable section. Wow, it's Seamints. In a Wii game? That's impossible. Continue. 